guys, it's Darlene and welcome to my channel. All right, so today's video is the renovation of the master bath and how to take a very small bathroom and make it a very luxurious, in my opinion, a spa-like bathroom. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, first and foremost, if you're already subscribed to my channel, I wanna say thank you so very much. If you are not yet subscribed, do that thing. Hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, that way you won't miss out on any videos. Okay, for those of you that are new here, welcome. Uh, for those of you that have been around a while, you know that we just recently downsized to from a 4,300 square foot house to a 1700 square foot house although we did just add 300 square feet to the attic for matthew's room uh the master bath uh that is always um i've had really great master bathrooms and i've had not so great master bathrooms I'm going to start a little differently i am going to start uh with what it used to look like what we did and how to go about it. so the bathroom is very small it, it's six foot by 12 and a half foot very, very small and very, very narrow. So let me show you the before picture. Uh, you can see on the main wall, and when I say main wall, it means that there's really no doors um, because this is not only is the master bath, but it is also the guest bath as well. I've never had one of those before. Downsizing. Um, so that longest wall had the toilet and it had a, a vanity. And then on the opposite side of the wall, it had uh, the most hideous shower uh, that they put in uh, that you've ever seen in your life. It, it's not just was it hideous, but it was uh, not functional at all. It took up so much space. I've only got six feet of width um, and it, it just... I don't know, it was just so clunky in there. And then uh, on one side was the door to the master, and then on the other side was just a blank wall. So for the first time ever, I had to take it all the way to studs because every single thing was going to be either be completely gone or moved. So the way we went about this is, and I'm just gonna show you pictures, is the guys took it to studs. Uh, so my contractors took it down to studs, the plumber came in and replumbed everything. So now the way that it is, is that on the wall that has the door coming in as if you're a guest, that door where that ugly shower was is now a 67 inch tub. And yes, a 67 inch tub freestanding fits perfectly. Has a great faucet. Um, and I'll talk about the finishings in a minute, but let's talk about the structure. Uh, so we put the tub there and then we moved the toilet to the opposite side as well. And uh, it fit perfectly. Plenty of room. Now what we did was take that 48 uh, inch vanity and we moved it from that wall to the wall that had nothing on it and the door can swing open, not a problem. And there's a little side space that I have like a little caddy for storage. We'll talk about that. And then that left the other wall completely. There was nothing on it. So that allowed the, the walkway, if you will, right? So uh, the bathtub, uh, I'll list everything uh, that I can. The vanity was from Lowe's. The uh, we obviously took out the flooring where the vanity was there was a light fixture uh, got rid of that and he moved it over to where the new vanity was now originally i thought we could get away we all thought we could get away with a 60 inch vanity this is where i learned a very valuable lesson and that is not just to measure but to actually take painters tape and tape out so that you could see because when we put that 60 inch vanity in there, it looked absurd. So we went back to a single vanity and it was one of those things. Do you want a double vanity or do you want a bathtub? I wanted a 67 inch bathtub. That's what I wanted, exactly what we did. Now, how do we go about doing, okay, so that's the functionality of it. The first thing we needed to do was create function. Next thing is to create the spa-like, okay? 
where the wall is to the shower that is actually under the stairs so just like i showed you this which is under the stairs as well going to the attic that's kitty corner so master bedroom master bath we used a portion of it to create those uh, uh shelves we used a small portion it's all we could use but it was a nook and you know i'm all about a nook you had to tear it we had to bring it to stud anyways so why not utilize every single inch and i will do a video uh of course on how i did use every inch of this house and continuing to do so uh for storage wise then for me i find bare walls to be just boring so the big transformation and the thing that i really believe in and i talked about this in the first video is structure what can i structurally do other than completely gut and rebuild to make it look spa like to make it fit within that coastal beach theme even slightly farmhouse theme i think they kind of all go together um it depends on the decor then shiplap and originally we were going to do one wall and it was going to be the wall where the vanity was and then i said mm -mm. I needed to go all three walls. I needed to go three of the four walls and it made all the difference in the world. It brought this architectural detail. It brought this uh, warmth to it. I mean, my guys even in that nook put the shiplap. That was an all day. He was probably ready to kill me because it was towards the end of, of this renovation that he did in three weeks and he was probably ready to kill me because i'm like ariel can we please so that was number one uh number two is pulling from the rest of the house so there's shiplap in this house there's board and batten in this house so that also I, it wasn't like i was just willy-nilly throwing something up that wasn't already a part of the structure of this house um the next thing is is uh choosing so the vanity so originally that vanity was a marble top and white uh and again the plumber was here everyone was here to install you know you've got these guys and that vanity wasn't gonna fit and it was a matter of what can i get at lowe's or home depot that will will work and this particular vanity worked it had a white top great neutral and then it had wood and i was like I can work with that because there is wood throughout the rest of my house and I will tie it in with some other things as I will show you uh, I went with more instead of doing gold in there for hardware meaning faucets light fixtures um, I went with black because it's more of a black and white as I mentioned in the last video and there is black and white in my house I mean so I went with fixtures that I love and um, I the vanity came and this is where I will say to you if something is not working for you uh, like it works but the hardware is wrong so what get new hardware and that's what I did I just bought new hardware and and changed out the hardware to black I don't remember what color it was uh, but the faucet uh, the mirror was the only thing that I kept <laughs> the mirror worked uh, and then the light fixture, uh, although not gold like the rest of the house, has that uh, coastal cottage feel to it. And then Edison bulbs, of course, tie it all together. Um, and then uh, the, with regards to the faucet for the bathtub, uh, I wanted a freestanding faucet and I wanted one that had a sprayer on it. If you're going to do it, do it with a sprayer trust me because after you take your bath you can just rinse it if you want to wash your hair while you're in the bathtub you can um if you want to just you know your feet are sandy whatever you could just it's just it's good and i love the look of it and then um from that point the tile um it was a linoleum or some god awful thing before and i went with a porcelain tile now this is a shiny tile uh so it is 
slippery. I, I will forewarn you, but I I, I know that. I, I knew it going in. Um, you know, when I get out of the bathtub, I have a bath mat that I just hang over the bathtub and when it's not in use and I pull it down. It's just a nice little crisp white uh, bath thing. And, and, you know, that's, I like the shininess of it. Uh, the toilet, um, again, you could go for your basic toilet. What I loved about this and what really makes it that coastal feel is it has the square beveled look to it. So the bottom of it is beveled and square and I love that look. Love it. I think they really are neat. So uh, every single thing changed with the exception of the mirror. That was it. And then we talk about uh, the things that pull from one another and then also make it uh, utilized. Like, okay, what, what do I have that I can use first off? Um, so I had that white basket with those white floral, I think they're dog leaf. Um, and I said, well, that'll look really cute next to the bathtub. You may ask yourself, let me just put that in, why did you move the toilet from, because it could have stayed where it was. But here's the thing, when you open that door as a guest, do you really wanna look at a toilet? I don't, um, you know, so if my, my door is always open, um, you see the vanity and all the pretty things on the vanity and there you go. Just to give you some reference as to where this bathroom is in regards to the rest of the house is that over there is the living room. This is the kitchen. Over here is the dining room. I'm actually doing a decorating thing and keto cocktail, mocktail and cocktail. You guys have requested and I'm going to deliver this week. Um, and so then that's a side door and then you come in through this hallway. So let's go. And so you have a little bit of a hallway here. Over to this side is where the attic is. Okay, so where Matthew's room is and I will show you that probably next week, maybe the week after. Um, and then this is the bathroom. So you just see this instead of like I talked about, you don't wanna see a potty. Who wants to see a potty? But it works perfectly. Nobody, I have six foot two guys in the house, right? And no one feels claustrophobic. Um, so then it becomes um, adding those extra touches to make it spa-like. For me, hyacinth baskets, put my washcloths on. I don't have a lot of space either, right? So here's a couple things uh, to think about. I use um, a hyacinth basket. I roll my, my washcloths. It takes an extra few seconds. Who cares? And I put them in the hyacinth basket right on the tray. The tray brought the wood from the vanity to the bathtub. Love this wood tray. It has a little groove in it, so if you wanted to put your iPad, your iPhone, whatever, and sit back and watch you know, your favorite movie and soak away, you can. A, uh, a raw edge to the uh, wood, um, and I'm obsessed by it. I love the look of it. And uh, that allows me to put things on it. Um, so uh, for, for right now, it's a hyacinth basket. I throw a little, couple little flowers that I've had, you know, in it. And um, there you go. I have storage for my washcloths. For my towels, um, I can hold five or six of them in a giant white basket. It sits between my white hamper that has that uh, shiplap look to it, which is on that walkway wall, if you will. And then the basket sits there for the towels. Within the uh, nook, um, here's a great idea, you guys. Put a Lazy Susan. That's what I have in there. It's black. And then I have these beautiful white bottles that came with the label, shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. And uh, mine sit, Katie, they fit perfectly. And then there's room for the boys. And I put their stuff in the back. So mine's in the front. And then uh, it's a matter of, uh, oh, and then I have a really pretty apothecary jar that says bath salts in it. It came that way. So pretty. I'll list everything for you. And I have my bath salts in there with my little wooden scoop. And then I have a little uh, piece of artwork that says blessed and a little uh, jar that has a candle in it. So when I 
taking my baths I could pull the candle from there and put it on the on the tray and I have my little tiny matches and my body scrub you could put anything you want there whatever whatever it is that you want to put and above the bathtub I have one piece of art in there because to me as I've talked about before I think the shiplap is the art but I already had this piece and it went perfectly and um, it says bath I can't remember exactly what it says, but it's black and white, it's giant, it fits perfectly. I love it, it looks perfect, and that's all I'm putting in there with regards to art. Um, the vanity itself, um, I'm uh, these these have followed me forever. They're uh, apothecary jars. I'm obsessed by apothecary jars. So on one side, I have you know your you know your dental floss, um, Q-tips, and you know I have Neutrogena face washy things. Um, and then on the other side, um, I have a little tray. I like to lift things, so it's a little black tray if you will and I have um, another apothecary jar that I put my little uh, my silk ties in for my hair and then uh, hand soap of course and then when I do have guests I do have a little black tray with guest towels uh, they it doesn't stay out the whole time um, there's no reason for it so when I know I'm having guests over I just pop that up now one of the things that was not there um, of course not was a toilet paper holder I did not so putting it on the wall even though that's six feet okay maybe four feet with the toilet that's a far reach so and I didn't want to put it into the shiplap so I just got a freestanding one and it's really cute and you can move it wherever you want and um, that's that's how I did it. Uh, there was a window there and it it did have to have some kind of window covering because our neighbor's deck literally looks right into the bathroom. So in order to tie in the navy into the bathroom, I found, remember I showed you the Laura Ashley toaster and teapot and loved it? They have the exact same pattern for a valance and it's a longer valance it's a more and you can tie it it's one of those ones that ties so you could tie it up or down I pretty much have it as low as it can be it's a bathroom I really don't need tons of light in there it's very sheer though so light does come in but my neighbors can't see <laughs> see us walking around so that's good so that's how I actually tied the navy into the bathroom so there is a flow to it so to sum it up I would say that uh, paint color is always important if you want to do a spa like bathroom to me a very bright white I would always recommend Chantilly Lace from Benjamin Moore especially if it is a dark bathroom which it is because there's really only a I mean the window is fairly good size but it's not a massive window uh, and then it is a small bathroom uh, being that it is a narrow bathroom I honestly would never with it with a six foot wide bathroom I would never recommend a shower I just wouldn't um, because it is so cumbersome because it has walls <laughs> you know right you have to have some kind of door some kind of shower curtain something here and then you have a wall here um, and it just my bathroom looked twice the size once we took that down so uh, think about the layout and then um, it depends on what your aesthetic is for me it's coastal farmhouse cottage esque so I love shiplap I could have easily also did board and batten but I feel like in a bathroom shiplap is the way to go uh, it adds interest without taking away space that's the important thing third thing is utilize space so the little cubby under the stairs it might not be huge but it's absolutely perfect I didn't have to add any shelving now my vanity is 48 inches um, uh, I would say never do, do not go with a vessel style sink go with an under mounted sink or a built-in sink because that will give the illusion of more space uh, and then you can put your pretty little things or necessary things 
on the vanity and you know it's a matter of adding you know a cute little plant here flowers there or anything you know will I add anything else that's a good question I don't know I might run across something that I don't again I don't want it to feel cluttered everything that's there has a purpose all right you guys well I hope you enjoyed the before and the after and uh, how to create a spa like bathroom um, from scratch <laughs> and a very small one. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, will you take a minute, hit the thumbs up. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys.